Okay, so thank you to Dirk and uh, the KLT and YLT teams inviting me here today. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to just give you a little bit of information about what I do and what my team does and the work that we're hoping to take forward in the development of the new children's strategy for Northern Ireland. Um, so if you give me, I, I have some slides pr pulled together for this presentation, but I'm actually going to do it in a slightly different way um, because I was looking at the audience. So I'm moving forward a little bit. Um, and I thought the first question really has to be, what is the children and young people's strategy? Um, and really, the children and young people's strategy fits into this slide most appropriately. Um, as you know, we just had elections last week. Um, and we've formed a new assembly government. Um, at the moment, uh, the parties are now developing the programme for government under which um, the assembly will move forward in the next five years. Um, so where does the children's strategy fit into the programme for government? I thought that would be useful just to touch on for you. Um, so the programme for government is the very high level document that uh, outlines what um, government in Northern Ireland hopes to achieve over the next five years. Okay, so they're currently developing 10 or 15 high-level outcomes, high-level things that we want to work towards in, in Northern Ireland. I'm not sure what the details of those are, but just to give you some indication, better health, um, prosperous economy, um, reduction in poverty, those would be very high level potential outcomes that could be in the strategy. So where does the children's strategy fit in that? Um, well, issues relating to children could span a number of those outcomes or they might actually have an outcome that says what can we do that's in the best interest for our children and young people in Northern Ireland. Um, below that then there are key indicators. So these will be um, indicators that determine the progress of the outcomes um, and this is where the public and organisations and the assembly can hold government to account on how well they achieve those outcomes. Um, progress measures are actually measurable indicators that detail the impact of, of the changes that we're wanting to make um, and one of the actions that will determine the high level outcomes would be the children and young people strategy. So we will work together across <coughs> government to develop and then to deliver at a high level the children and young people strategy. And that will feed in to how effectively the assembly and the executive and government has worked to deliver for children and young people down there. So I hope that gives you a little bit of context um, about where, where the children and young people strategy fits in go back a bit now. Right, okay. Um, so there is currently a children and young people strategy and it ends this year. Um, it was a 10 year strategy and it was a, an integrated strategy that worked across governments. Um, the goal of this strategy is to improve the well-being of our children and young people and build upon the work of the previous strategy. So this isn't about throwing the baby out of the bathwater, it's taken forward the sound pieces of, of information that were in the fir first strategy um, and developing those and teasing them out in today's context and looking ahead to the future and see what, what can we continue to do to improve the lives and well-being of children and young people. And that's why it's very timely that the survey have invited me to speak today because very much the um, results of the survey, the findings and the information are key to helping me develop the survey and um, to begin to make a difference. So the outcomes, the survey will be outcomes focused, it will be <coughs> rights focused, and that's linking to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. It will be evidence informed, back to what Dirk's providing, and Dirk is working with me on an outcomes um, subgroup for this strategy. So very much in terms of evidence to show where we want to get to and how we're gonna do it. It will be child informed, I've spent a lot of time over the last uh, number of months talking to stakeholder organisations from the children's sector, talking to children and young people themselves, parents, um, 
to see what they want in the strategy, to ask their views and to understand um, what their issues are, where there are gaps in the services for children and young people, um, and how we may need to make improvements. So very much the strategy is being designed with children and with stakeholders. Okay. Um, work to date. So um, we've reviewed the previous strategy, and as I say, there was some very sound elements to that, which we're bringing forward into the next strategy. Um, but the main lessons we learned were that uh, the monitoring and reporting on achievement against the previous strategy could have been better. Um, so that's, that's definitely a, a key learning part. Um, a number of things then we went into to identify the information. We've analysed um, the UNCRC alternative reports. These are reports that both the Children's Commissioners and NGOs in the UK have submitted to the United Nations um, on the rights of the child and how we are doing, how we as the UK are doing in terms of the articles in the uh, Convention. Um, we've run a number of workshops, as I said, we've been talking to people, but mostly we've been listening and other people have been talking. Um, not go through a whole list of them there. Set up a project board, outcomes group, that's what Dirk's involved in, and basically it's an ongoing process. Um, the last element of it, which you might be interested in, in just this initial phase, is that we submit issued a questionnaire um, to organisations. Um, for children, it's a survey monkey questionnaire. Children can fill in um, to give us their views, or there was a, a leaders' aid memoir. If you want to just have a discussion with the young people that you work with, they don't want or are capable of completing a survey, then stimulate some discussion um, and give us the information and send it back to us. So really, all very much about finding out what children and young people's views are and what we need to look at. Um, this links to the big picture, so I explained to you earlier uh, the programme for government and how we link to that. It's a Northern Ireland executive strategy for children and young people, so it isn't owned by one department. As Dirk said, um, I've currently just moved into the Department of Education and it will lead on the strategy, but it's about all departments and all aspects of children's lives, and I'll explain that in a little more detail. Um, so the executive is responsible for this strategy, not any one department, and that's very useful. Um, a very big um, impact on how we did things on the strategy um, came about last December when one of the members of the assembly uh, brought through a private members bill called the Children's Services Cooperation Act. And um, that really means that government departments, agencies, all public sector organisations are required to work together in the best interests of children and young people. Um, and we're going to do that through the strategy, so that's why the strategy is so important. Um, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child uh, is having its oral hearing for the UK in, later in May, and uh, they will produce some concluding observations. So basically they'll give us some comments and feedback on how we're doing against the Convention for the Rights of the Child, and what we need to look at and do better. And again, the, sir, the strategy will be built um, around the framework of the United Nations Convention. Children's rights are very key there, and we'll be building the concluding observations into how we want to move forward. So that's, that's the linkage with the strategy. Um, this is a little bit more detail to help you understand the Children's Services Cooperation Act, and we're certainly utilising a number of those aspects of it. Um, so within the Act, the term well-being, well-being for children and young people, has eight parameters. So it's about children and young people's physical and mental health, enjoyment of play and leisure, learning and achieving, living in safety and with stability, their economic and environmental well-being, allowing them and supporting them to make a positive contribution to society, to live in society that respects their rights, and that's very key, and promote good relations. So everything in the strategy is going to be built around those eight parameters. Um, if there's anything that you can think of that falls outside those, um, we would certainly want to know about it so that we can have a look and see how we can develop that aspect of it. But as I say, this, this is where the framework is moving forward. 
So, under the requirements of the Act, the strategy must set out outcomes the executive intend to be achieved. We need to detail the outcomes and the actions to be taken by departments. We'll need to explain how we're going to measure success or failure. Um, the strategy will be for a set period of time and it will be developed with children and young people. So that's just a recap. That's what we're doing and that's what we have been doing. We'll have a look at that. Um, and really again, summarising the high level approach of the strategy, better outcomes, um, what conditions for children and young people do we want? What are we getting it wrong? How can we improve? Um, and how can we measure success? How do we know that the things that government have been doing has had a positive impact on the lives of children and young people? Um, better cooperation, how can government work together? What arrangements do we need to put in place? Better delivery, how can we monitor progress? How do we know? Um, how do we keep sectoral representatives and children and young people involved? Um, and how do we make revisions and improvements where the indicators are that we're not achieving the outcomes we're working towards? Okay. Um, and this is just summing up. Really, uh, as I say, the first phase was really about engagement. We have a lot of information. People have been very helpful. Um, my contact details are at the end of the slide. And if anyone wants to come and talk to me or any of the children and young people you work with would want to talk to me, please get in touch. You're very welcome. We can send out the questionnaire. We can come and speak to them. Uh, we work with uh, whatever way it's best for you and your young people. Um, we're analysing uh, the strategic outcomes. We're developing. Um, deliverable outcomes underneath that, and this is where the outcomes group comes in. We'll develop, be developing indicators. How do we measure our outcomes? How do we know if we're going in the right direction? We're linking this strategy to other strategies that government have. So it's no longer a case of, well, am I delivering this strategy for children and young people or that strategy? This is the key strategy in Northern Ireland, and any other strategy for children and young people umbrellas under this strategy. Um, and the strategy will move forward with the executive agreement. All nine ministers will sign up to it and it will be presented in the assembly. So that's a sort of a quick run through. Um, I hope that gave you some information and we can have some questions at the end. Okay? Thank you.